We're now joined by one of the sponsors of the bill, Representative Benjamin Kalu. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, friend. Okay, considering the current reality we have, how expedient do you think actions will be on your proposal to return Nigerians back to the country when just yesterday the Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed the many challenges they currently face with bringing back Nigerians that wish to return home? Uh, I'm sure Nigeria is committed to bringing Nigerians who are stranded in diaspora back home. I'm sure the executive they are committed to it. If you will recall, we brought up this uh, couple of months back before the House of Representatives, but because it was not well understood, it was thrown out. It has come back again to the House, and uh, it was embraced by the whole leadership of the House. Even before now, now the executives have started taking steps towards this direction. And what we did yesterday is to use our legislative intervention to give them the support that they need to make sure that this is centralized. So because of the dignity of our sovereignty, the pride of our nation must be protected. We cannot be treated the way we are treated across um, the globe, especially in China. I will see it and uh, consider them as mere Chinese movies. Those movies trading up and down, all those uh, write-ups we're seeing on social media, they are real. And it is high time we stop sitting on the fence, we take a decision. And as a nation, we are well equipped to take care of our compatriots who are stranded and ill-treated outside the shores of Nigeria. And I'm sure this government is committed to that. You called for an investigation into the validity of the immigration documents of Chinese citizens in Nigeria. Could you please explain to us exactly what you wish to achieve by this uh, scrutiny? Uh, the time has, uh, what COVID has done is that it's changing the dynamics of a whole lot of things, it's changing the narrative of a whole lot of things, and one of which is it is time we started doing the enumeration of certain things going on in this country that we don't have access to. One of them is information as to the total number of uh, immigrants in our country. We're starting with China now because uh, China started with the blacks also, and especially Nigerians in China. We also want to know how many Chinese people are in Nigeria. We want to know the uh, how many of them who are legal in Nigeria. We want to know how many legal businesses operated by Chinese people in Nigeria. And that will help us to know whether they are complying with the dictates of the law establishing the uh, expatriate quota. Are they bringing people to do the job Nigerians are supposed to do? Um, when, when we see Chinese people you know, doing get work, uh, watchman, uh, cook, and all the rest of them, we want to know what, what, what informed their decision to bring in the number of people they are bringing, what is the immigration doing about it. So it's going to cut across a lot of, uh, this motion is going to cut across a whole lot of uh, MDAs in Nigeria. The, the immigration department is going to be on the hot seat now to know, we want to know the details of those they've given immigration document. We are going to go to CAC, we want to find out all the companies that are registered in Nigeria with foreign interests, especially China. We want to know how many of them are complying with our laws. All those people who are doing illegal mining, bunkering, electronic business, oil and gas, name them. All of them we want to scrutinize. We want to know what they are doing, whether it is legal or not. And those who are not well documented, we want them to comply with the law. This is not uh, fighting against China. This is about preserving the integrity of the sovereignty of this nation, the pride and the dignity of this nation. We want to also clean up the same way they are cleaning up. And as we're bringing our people back home, they should be ready to get their people back home who may not have COVID, but who are here illegally. Uh, do you think that this action, um, generally everything that you're putting together, will send the required message to get the Chinese government to at least show some response in real terms to protecting Nigerians who live in China and punishing anyone who might have mitigated the rights of Nigerians there? Of course, it will. You know, in diplomatic relations, there's an expectation and that expectation must be managed by the countries that have signed the pact. One of the expectations of this particular diplomatic relationship is mutual respect. Okay? We are generating $8.6 billion worth of business between us and China in the last uh, uh, statistic we took in 2019. If the pact that we signed with China is not enough to make them respect us, at least the kind of business we generate for China should make them respect us. 
We don't have that same respect. And we, we, Nigerians should stop shying away from this particular fact just because of a token of love that is coming from them. The dignity of our nation, the name that we bear, is more important to us than the, the wealth or the debt that we are trying to manage. Let us manage the expectation that, has, that is attached to diplomatic relationship between us and this country. When we are told, you cannot shop here in this shop. When Nigerians are told, you cannot be treated in this hospital, even though your, your wife is pregnant, you are not allowed access to this hospital. We thought it was one of those Chinese movies. When Nigerians were told, you cannot eat in this restaurant. When Chinese people own restaurants in Nigeria, they, they are allowed to eat anywhere they want to eat. They are allowed to live in any part of Nigeria, whether it is in the village or even close to our Asura. It is dependent on the affordability, not on the color of their skin. That is not what we are getting in the form of reciprocation from China. China is not determined by your affordability. It is determined by the color of your skin. You cannot live where you want to live. You cannot shop from where you want to shop. You cannot eat from where you want to eat. You watch what happened to our ambassador or the, um, the high commissioner who was acting in line with the provisions of Article 5 of the Vienna Convention of 1963. Okay. He went there to preserve the integrity of the nation and he was asking relevant questions. What we thought was fake news, which was circulated. He raised those questions and said, why are you confiscating the passport of Nigerians? Why are you chasing them away from their paid accommodation? Why are the landlords cancelling their rent? Why are they being quarantined 14 days after 14 days after 14 days? What is happening? Why, can, why are they not allowed access to these shops? Why okay. are they not allowed access to this restaurant? No answer was given to those questions. And I challenge Nigerians right. to go and watch the movie again. Honorable. They don't watch it. They will see the body language, the no, indifferent, nonchalant attitude by the Chinese officer. He was not interested in what our high commissioner was saying. He was only interested in, okay, you have the passport in your hand now, and what about it? Do you know that our high commissioner went on the streets? Um, honorable, I'm, I must interject. Feeding Nigerians who we are uh, without a shelter. Honorable, I, I must interject to ask you to quickly summarize your thoughts so we can um, um, move on with the news. Hello, sir. There is nothing to summarize except that the dignity of our nation must be preserved. The integrity of this nation must be preserved. And when you insult a Nigerian outside, when you disgrace a Nigerian outside, when you disgrace and, 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 and you don't respect the diplomatic relationship that we share with your nation, it calls for us to begin to do an appraisal of what we are doing with you. And that is what the House has started to do. We are appraising our relationship with China. We are looking into what they are doing in Nigeria, just the same way they are looking into what Nigerians are doing in China. Thank you very much for your time with us on the news. We'll definitely stay in touch. Thank you very much.